Sisters, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. What do we have for Sisters? What do we have for Sagittarius? <clears throat> Ten of Cups. Feeling good, feeling fulfilled, whether alone or with others. Overall, it is feeling contentment, feeling good. Okay. I see you like savoring the moment or not rushing something. This could be with someone else or savoring a feeling of contentment. There is some type of interest that has been ignited. Whether this is within you or within the external, within the outside world. There is something about you liking something or you having interest in something or someone that's making you feel good. And you're kind of like slowing time to enjoy that feeling so it doesn't become fleeting or it doesn't go away. So saving or savoring the moment. Okay. This could be regarding someone else. This could be regarding someone. You could have interest in someone that is making you feel that you want to commit to them or you want to start something with them. It's kind of like um, you want to like get in a relationship with someone or or share something or share that ten of cups with someone. Because this is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you want to share your independence or share being with someone without having to always depend on yourself or... It's like... It's like you wanting to... Kind of like share your experiences or share your wife with someone. This is basically giving me the feeling that you want to start a relationship with someone. You could be single and you are getting to the point where you want to get in a relationship. Maybe you're dating, maybe you already have met someone. Maybe you already know who this is. You already know who you want to spend your life with and I don't know if it's long term or not because it seems like a beginning, a new beginning. It's at the very start of something. It could be a new thing, a new date, a new person. Okay. Tell me about this person. I don't know if this is I see that you have options, but you don't want your options, you want that one person. Okay, this is the Seven of Cups in reverse. You're not confused, you you don't want someone, like, you've already made up your mind about someone, I feel. Hmm. I see, Sagittarius, this person could be not ready, okay? And I feel like they're not ready emotionally. They do have an interest in you, if you see this card. 
there is a beautiful rose behind this person, but this person is not paying attention to the rose. They're paying attention to the cups that are spilled or that are fallen. But they do know, they do know that you are there. You, they do know that you're there. Okay. This person could be watching you from a distance or keeping an eye on you. But this person is not... It's like they do want... It's like they do want something with you, but they're not going to rush to trust you or to rush their feelings towards you. There's something about this person holding themselves back from falling too fast. They're being practical instead of emotional. They're standing their ground. I feel like this person is on the fence of yes or no. Like they're not sure if they want this, but they don't want to dismiss it just yet. Tell me more about this person. They could be busy. I see such there's that this person is busy with their money. Or busy thinking about their money. This person does see the fruit of their labor or they do see the the benefit of them focusing on their career or their goals. Whatever that they are investing in, they do see the benefit of that. They do see money growing on that tree and they are like, they have their attention there. Okay. Yeah. This person is slowly becoming more uh, hopeful, more open, more optimistic. They're slowly coming out of the dark or slowly realizing that life is getting better, getting good. Let's see how they feel about you, Sagittarius. How does this person feel about Sagittarius? Mm. This is the judgment. I feel like you are God sent or that you have some type of power connecting you to the gods or God. <clears throat> like I said earlier, this person doesn't want to um, start something serious just yet, but they also don't want to <clears throat> let you go. You know what I mean? So this person is like, I I feel I'm not ready yet because I have things to take care of or things to focus on. But Sagittarius, I don't want you to go away. I want you to stay. I want it. I'm I'm curious about this connection because I can feel it. But can you wait for me? Can you be patient with me? It could bring you a gift or give you something or give you flowers. There's something about the flowers pulling my attention. They do want to move towards you, Sagittarius. So what's holding them back? It's time. It's divine timing here, okay? This person is going through something, okay? They're slowly letting letting the burden down like this person could have other things that could be burdening them what is it what is burdening this person the truth okay so they could have received some type of truth that made them kind of that kind of shocked them or made them realize that they've got to do things differently 
I feel like this truth kind of sh shaken the foundation of this person and made them realize that they have to kind of step up or step up their game. It's like... Like I said, there's something that's happening in this person's life that's keeping them from um, going towards you and making that move towards you. And I'm not saying that they haven't made a move. They could have made a move already towards you, but it's not the type of move that they want to make. It's, it's very passive or very... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's slower than they like it to be. And like I... Okay, so it's not just that, Sagittarius. I also see that the Wheel of Fortune is here as well. So there is divine timing at play. Maybe this person is guided to not rush towards you and deal with the things that are happening in their life first before they make it towards you. Because the universe or you, the spirit on their team and on yours don't want this person to come towards you when they have baggage. It's like this person needs to sort that out first before they come towards you so that they come in right so that they may so that may so that they come towards you the right way yeah the moment this person sorts their things out and i feel like it could be one thing or multiple things they will move towards you in a faster manner, to say the least, in a way that you will not be confused about their approach. There's something about this person that that you will be 100% sure that this is it. Let's see. What is the possible outcome for these two? See, the spirit guides, these are like whenever I see this card and I see these people around the hangman, I, I feel like these are the spirit guides. Your spirit guides or their spirit guides are trying to postpone this connection until a later time. There's something about <clears throat> this connection taking off in the future, but there's something about it not happening now. It's like, maybe you want it to happen, maybe they want it to happen, maybe you both want it to happen, but there is something in the way and it's uh, the justice in reverse. There's something that needs to be paid out first, okay? There's, some, there's something in the form of pay, whether this is karma or what, whatever that is, needs to be paid out first. And the universe, your spirit guides or their spirit guides don't want this connection to happen because it is divine until the other person or you do something to pay off the karmic debt. When I say karmic debt, it, it, it could be anything. It could be something that hasn't been processed from the past that is surfacing and that needs to clear before it happens. Those, so there is a lot of weight. There is a lot of weight when it comes to this connection. It is the slow type of connection, but it is slow for a reason. It, it doesn't mean it's slow. Be it's not slow because it's not meant to be. It's slow because it's meant to be. You know? You know what I mean? Anything else for Sagittarius? Sagittarius, have faith in your skills or talent. 
when it comes to your career, don't be suspicious or don't be doubtful of the, the talent or the skill that you might have. Trust yourself. Trust yourself, okay? Because I feel like this is this is telling you don't doubt the 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 practice that you do. Don't doubt your skill, don't doubt your work ethics, don't doubt your capabilities when it comes to your career. Don't shy away. Don't be afraid to take risk when it comes to uh, your career because you've got help. You've got help that is encouraging you to take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith forward. Open your heart and be open to change. Change is good. Change is good when it comes to your career, Sagittarius. There's something about you having to be open when it comes to your career. Um, trust yourself. Believe in yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Because what, whatever that you're doing is aligning with, with your heart space or your spirit. Your spirit and your heart is approving of whatever that you're doing. But I see that when it comes to the practical thinking or the ego you are a bit doubtful. Leave those doubtful thoughts, those doubtful feelings behind and trust that your spirit guides are guiding you through. Okay. If there is any emotional baggage that could be holding you from fully expressing your talent or expressing your skills when it comes to your job, that needs to go. That needs to go. By that, I mean you could open your heart or process the feelings that are blocking your heart. Because there's something about you having to express. Or there is some type of expression here that is related to your job. It's like, it's, it's, it's in a way telling you... That you need to kind of revive the passion or revive the motivation through your heart space. Because your heart space could be blocked or there's something that's blocking your heart space expression. And that could be delaying or making some type of stagnation when it comes to your career or self-belief when it comes to your career. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Let's see if, if there's more explanation here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This is, this is your destiny. Leave any doubts behind, sisters. Leave any doubts behind. This could be a, a, the devil or 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 the devil's minions coming your way to plant out in your heart about what you have to do there's something about what you do that is uh, passionate or that is purposeful that can bring change in the world or your surrounding uh, the world maybe is big extreme but it's possible maybe your surroundings so whatever that you are doing could influence not just you but others around you too but the thing is when you are that type of person the devil or the devil's minions will be coming your way to plant doubt in your journey to delay your heart's expression this is something to do with your soul this is something to do with your life mission and that is expressed through through the soul through the heart through the passion and that needs to be nourished nurtured instead of um, dimmed down because that is your potential ten of uh, ten of pentacles I mean, you have the Ten of Cups too, but that is to, towards or regarding the person. This is regarding your career. 
So you've got the love and the <laughs> and the money here. Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You're very much supported, Sagittarius, and not just supported in the sense where, yeah, you will be successful. You can make real change when it comes to your love life and your career. I feel like most of this reading is all about believe in yourself, be patient, trust the process, because there's a lot of process here, a lot of waiting game, a lot of um, like uh, per per persevering, pers perseverance, because there's something about you having to do something and continue on doing it, even if you're not seeing physical evidence. Uh, coming from what you're doing because the reward is later so you've got demons here or you've got like the devil's minions coming to plant out in your plan or in your journey to stop you from doing what you were meant to be doing when you agreed to come to this life a lot of this is to do with faith <clears throat> a lot of this is to do with faith, sisters. Have faith, believe in yourself, and believe in the universe's plan for you. Trust that you are not doing the wrong thing because it's really never the case. Even if you think you're doing the wrong thing, it's not. Because even when you think you're doing the wrong thing, you will realize at the end of that wrongdoing... That is not for you, right? But until you know for a fact that whatever that you're doing is not for you, you have to keep doing it. You cannot stop halfway. Because not knowing or thinking that it won't happen when you don't really know if it could happen is not good enough. You have to keep going. You have to keep going. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like in many ways the universe is testing your faith, to be honest with you. Like, the universe is like, I want to see if, if Sagittarius truly believes or not. I will hold off the blessings, because the blessings is truly the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles. So it's, it's not like, um... It's not like a small win. It's not a small win. This is a big win. This is a big win, okay? So, for you to deserve getting this, your faith in yourself and in the universe plan for you has to be 100%. It cannot be 80 or 90%. It has to be full faith. And kind of like keep on going because the reward will be worth it. This reward is not for everybody. This reward is for those that have faith and keep on going despite the obstacles, despite the devil's energy. Your faith is really, is really highlighted here. Your faith, your faith, have faith. In yourself and in the universe's plan for you. I feel like that is your message, Sagittarius. If you if you trust yourself, if you trust the universe, everything will work out better than you have ever expected to be. Okay. There's a lot of there's there, there's like like a testing energy here. The universe could be testing you. Could be delaying your blessing to see if you will um, if you will you know just give up because you're not seeing any benefit or you're not seeing any reward or or you know you're not reaping the rewards just yet so faith again and again 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 okay so <sighs> chairs best of luck I will see you soon.